Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for a while now I've been wanting to do another Primark haul but I haven't been seeing anything that I actually really liked in there at the moment. Not because I don't like Primark, but just simply because fashion has been very not great, not really my style. However, it's now turned to winter season and I'm loving everything. Everything I bought here, I'm pretty sure 80% of it is Harry Potter. But we're having a promotion for Fantastic Beasts and <laughs> I knew they'd have so much more in Oxford Street than they would in the one that I work in. It has about three floors, I think, maybe four. And I just, I went to pyjama section and women's and my sister had to drag me away because I literally would have spent about £300 in there on clothes. And I kind of wish I had because I really need clothes. However, maybe I should be a little smart with my money. This is my Oxford Street Primark haul and I hope you like it. Harry Potter. Oh my god, shocker. Rebecca buying Harry Potter, what? Gryffindor top, if you can see that. And it says Harry Potter on it, obviously. Gryffindor, and it says Quidditch Seeker. I'm not a Gryffindor, but anything Harry Potter, I will actually buy it. And I think it's really, really cute. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little try-on of each of these as well. I got a bigger size than I need to because I find that Primark tops shrink quite easily, but then so do a lot of my clothes, so... And plus I like things baggy anyway, plain on the back. And the second I saw it, I didn't even hesitate. When it's Harry Potter, I will literally buy it. I'm such a sucker, just stick Harry Potter Lego on a t-shirt and I'll give you your money. My money. <laughs> this was £6, so not bad at all in my opinion. So the next thing that I got was again Harry Potter. This is a Harry Potter Quidditch top. As you can see it's just got the Gryffindor logo here, it's red and yellow and it's long sleeved. This is actually a pyjama top, I'm pretty sure, yep, a pyjama top. <laughs> and we don't have this in my section, I work in the pyjama section in my Primark and we don't have as much options because we don't have that much space. So I knew that we'd have more if I went to Oxford Street and I was right. <laughs> This, I might wear it as just a normal top and not pyjama top because I think I could get away with that. Like quite a few of the pyjama tops you could get away with just wearing in public and I've seen people doing it. I know because I work there so I'm like, ha, she's wearing a pyjama top. <laughs> but <laughs> no one else would know so I might do that. It doesn't look like a pyjama top. And this one was £7. I don't know if I already said that. <laughs> But yeah, it's really nice. I got it in a 10 to 12 medium because even though 6 to 8 was more than big enough for me, again, I like really baggy things and it will last longer if it tends to shrink in the tumble dryer, which it always does. Really, I should dry them naturally, but who can be fucked for that? Yeah, my Gryffindor top. I'm in love with it. I can't wait to wear it. Sorry, I've got to fold everything neatly. We're using my Primark skills. Uh -huh. Okay, so the next thing that I got this is literally, I'm not sure whether to title this Oxford Primark haul, winter or whatever, or whether I should just call it a freaking Harry Potter Primark haul, but this is a Harry Potter bomber jacket, and I squealed when I saw this. This was £14, so a little more pricey, but still, it's cheap as fuck, and it just has encrusted in, what do you call it? Metallic, kind of. Um, I'm being stupid right now, I'm sorry. The Hogwarts logo, and I really like the blue kind of colour. I don't, I always go for black jackets and just black clothes in general, so I was like, I need to. The thing I didn't like was the bag. It has Team Quidditch and then that on the back. I don't really like that, to be honest. However, it's Harry Potter, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. It's not my favourite thing. It looks a bit maybe, I don't know, tacky, but it's Harry Potter and like I said, I'll buy anything Harry Potter. Dear God, this whole thing is literally Harry Potter. This is so embarrassing. No wonder my sister was dragging me away. I think I actually bought everything they had. That was Harry Potter, which is really bad because they had a huge section and I was in my element. So this was £12. This was cheaper than the other one for some reason and it's a thicker material and in my opinion nicer. This one has a huge Hogwarts logo on it. Again, that kind of material, it's really, really pretty. And then here it has 07 Seeker, which is Harry's Quidditch number. And then it's got this, that style's really in at the moment. And if you saw in my last New Look haul, 
I bought loads of jumpers that had this kind of lined stripe thing on them because they're really in fashion at the moment. So I loved that. And the blue and the red was, or burgundy, whatever, was really, really nice. So on the back it has Quidditch and it says Team Hogwarts. Again, I'm not a big fan of the writing on the back, however, the front is really, really nice. So I thought, why not? And I ain't ashamed to like Harry Potter, my friend. I ain't ashamed. Maybe I should be. But also, I bought a Harry Potter jacket not long ago from Primark, and I'd show you it, but I think I've lost it, and it's really sad, because it was the last one and I got it. And I'm really sad about it. I can't find it anywhere, so these new jackets are making me happy. But this is for once not Harry Potter, however, I buy quite childish clothing. But again, if you watched my last video, or one of my last videos, talking about being immature and stuff, I believe that you can wear whatever you want, no matter how old you are. And I'm nearly 22, but this appealed to me, and it said, I'm going to the gym. I found it really funny, because I don't go to the gym at all, and I used to play Pokemon Go, and I mainly deleted it because of storage problems, and then I had a problem with my password, and then I couldn't be bothered to start all over again. So... <laughs> This I found really really funny because my brother's always taunting me about never going to the gym and being lazy. So I just thought this was hilarious. I'm going to the gym. <laughs> and yeah, it's a really nice just top to throw on and I really really like it. Six pounds. You know, I actually can't remember what I bought so this is a surprise every time I get something out. Again, what do you think this is? Mmm, Harry Potter. So this was eight pounds. And this one I wasn't a huge fan of but I... I'm weak. This says Harry Potter on it, just down the side. It's a really big top, I think it's meant to be like that. I should hope so, it's a size 8 but look, look at this. It's literally huge. Our sizes always tend to be bigger. So this one I didn't go for a bigger size than I needed. I could have even gone for a size 4 and it still would have been too big, but I just went for an 8. Because I think it's meant to be like a really really long boyfriend tee. And the back's plain. And I thought this would be nice to wear on lazy days or whatever. The next thing that I got, I think this is the biggest haul I've ever done, is Shocker Harry Potter. Look, stop judging me, okay? You, you, you will understand if you love Harry Potter too. Okay, just stop being such a judgment too. Judgment too. Stop being judgment too. This, I had to get this. I'm gonna go see the film. I just don't know who with. I think I might ask my little sister, because I don't know anyone that's as geeky about Harry Potter as me. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I love this style of top, and the second I saw it, I was like, oh my god! Freaked out. We don't have this in my Primark. I think this is a pyjama top as well, so this would usually be in my section. Oh no, it was merchandised with the pyjamas, but um, you could wear it as a pyjama top. But I'm going to wear it, obviously, as a t-shirt. It's just really really cute and I'm so excited for the new film so I hope the new film's good and not a, a cursed child let down otherwise I'll be wearing this and feeling ashamed if it's anything like the cursed child but it looks really good and yeah I can't wait to see the film so this is eight pounds yay oh jeez I'm actually like hating myself <coughs> oh my throat everything I pull out is Harry Potter and now like at the time I didn't realise that I'd gone so overboard and my sister was like hardcore judging but <laughs> this <laughs> is a Harry Potter another bummer jacket this was my favourite one this has the Hogwarts logo and just a normal black bomber jacket really the sleeves are plain um, I think I'll be wearing this one the most I also had this in grey the one I was talking about earlier that I lost so I was really happy when I found this because I think I've lost the other one but I'm going to have a good old hunt for it because I really like the grey one, it was really cute this is a really nice colour and I was happy to find it if I have lost the other and this was £14 so I think this is one of my favourite things yes, something not Harry Potter I'm actually relieved for once to not see Harry Potter so this is this was a little more pricey for Primark I think but still cheap as hell like if you go anywhere else it will be triple the price. This was £16 for a bomber jacket and it's blue. I've really wanted a thick bomber jacket for a while. I had one from New Look and I ripped it somehow so I've been really wanting a new jacket for ages because I've lost my hoodie again. I always lose my hoodies. But I got this jacket 
and it's just a blue plain bomb bomber jacket really there's not much you can say about it um it's got zip on the side it like in my opinion you can't tell this is from primark like back in the day you could tell the difference between primark jackets and not but now i think the quality has improved so much and i'm not just saying this from a biased point of view i genuinely think that you can't tell this is from primark and Former jackets are really in style right now, and I've really wanted a blue one for a while, so I'm really, really happy with this. I'm definitely going to be wearing this all the time. I got really obsessed with the bomber jackets, and my sister had to pull me away. I was actually going to buy every single colour, like green, blue, black, uh, white. I was literally going to buy them all. However, she stopped me. This is a black bomber jacket, exactly the same. Um, literally, I've wanted a black one for a really long time. But I was going to buy it from New Look or somewhere, but I thought if I'm going to rip it again, what's the point in spending that much? I love New Look, but sometimes the quality is worse than Primark, which you wouldn't expect. But a lot of clothing places that are really expensive have shocked me and been worse quality than Primark, so don't hate. This one's got a zip down the uh, sleeve. <laughs> I'm so fucking done sometimes. And this hat was £16 as well. This is a size 10, I got a size 10 in the other one as well, just because I like baggy things. I don't. I used to like really tight cl clothing, but now that I've put on weight, I'm like, <laughs> no, I need baggy clothing, it makes you look skinnier. And I really think they're comfortable for the winter, and I'm so excited to use this all throughout winter. I'll probably just use this one the whole time, because I'm so goth. Ah, oh, I've got to the end of the clothes, that's so sad, I thought I bought more. <laughs> I'm genuinely upset. Oh god, I thought the guy had smashed the ball. When he threw it in the bag. No, it's the design. It's very, very small, but I just thought this would be cute to have like in my bag at work so I can just spray it on myself. It was only two pounds. It's called Beautiful. It smells really nice. Mm, yeah, it smells like, I don't know what it smells like really. But yeah, I really, really like it. And focus, focus can't really see it but it's just a teeny tiny little cute little bottle and I think it'll be really nice and useful to just use for work. Downside is when I have perfume even the biggest bottles will only last me about two weeks because I just full on spray that shit on so I need to like only do one spray a day or something I need to really like control myself <laughs> otherwise this will last two days. I will be getting more perfume, not from Primark, but I thought this was nice. Just as a top up during the day when my old perfume feels like it's wearing off. So yes. The next thing I got last month, I bought four packets of these and you get two together. And I went through them so fast. So I haven't bought enough, but since I work at Primark, I can always pick up more. So this is makeup wipes. I think I got the wrong ones. Yeah, for dry skin. I usually get the green ones, I think, but... Do they pay one pound for two of them? Not bad at all. I said last month I got four of them, and that only lasted me a month because it takes so much to get my makeup off like so much, and I love using them. And I really regret it when I get to the very last makeup wipe, and I'm like, I should treasure these more. I don't like using makeup wipes from anywhere else because what's the point in spending a fortune? I don't know. And the last thing that I got is an essential that I've been meaning to get for a while. Um, I ran out a while ago, it's really boring. Just some cotton buds for 50p. Oh damn, 50p, I thought they were a pound. <laughs> Bargain. Um, you get 200 of them in there. And usually if you get them from like Boots or your local corner shop, they're usually like a pound, two pounds. So this is cheap as hell. Just I really needed them for a while. This is the least exciting thing that I got. That was basically a Harry Potter haul, so I'm not sure what to title this, but what you'll see down here what I decided. Um, I'm sorry that I'm a nerd. If you don't like it, get off my channel. <laughs> I love Harry Potter, okay? You need to start buying normal women clothes. Like, I'm nearly 22. I need to start buying adult clothing. What is wrong with me? Um, I'm planning on visiting Oxford Street again, especially near Christmas, because they had Christmas lights up but they weren't turned on, and I heard that Chris uh, London in Christmas is really, really pretty, and I've never been during Christmas, well, I have been during Christmas, but not shopping, and I haven't seen the decorations, so 
I really want to go there again and I'll probably visit Primark again. I did need to get trousers and jeans, that was initially what I needed the most from clothes because all I've got is like two pairs of jeans and then my work ones. But <laughs> I didn't get any because I just find, does anyone else find trouser shopping so boring? Yeah. My problem is jeans don't last very long, no matter where you get them from. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video you can give it a like, you can comment, you can subscribe and um yeah that's all really from me i will see you in my next video bye